for both to answer. <laughs> If a day comes when this friendship ends, what would your last words to me be? What do you remember about the first time we met? We were in the photography course. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then we had a quick bite, right? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. It was through the photography course yeah. that we met. Yeah. yeah. That was, was about four years ago. Yeah. yeah, I remember I was like sitting beside you. I think we are the only two. Yeah, we are the only two. Youngest two. person. Correct, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Good one. What would you say to someone who refuses to best, oh sorry, to befriend others because of racial or religious differences? <coughs> What would I say to someone who refuses to befriend somebody who is of, of different yeah. race and religion? religion. That's right. I think I will be interested to know what is the person's, um, what's the person's narrative that makes him not want to be want to befriend, uh, someone of a different <coughs> religion, uh, and 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 to find out why does he or she fix on that narrative, and from there, that's where. I I guess that's where we can talk more further. My 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 main my main goal will still be I want to, um, you know, if possible, help this person to, uh, be able to come out of that narrative so that to help them understand that, um, um to help them understand that we should. We should not let racial or religion, you know, stop us from okay. making friends or being friends with another person. Yeah, because um, I think I think the the differences in race and religion has not shouldn't come to a point that we shouldn't be friends with each other. Yeah, yeah, it has its differences, yeah. but not to that point that it should <coughs> you should discourage friendship. Yeah. So, but what I'll be very curious about is more on the the. The narrative this person is holding on to, uh, yeah, and it and it's shaping the person's way of looking <coughs> at the person. <sighs> What advice would you give to someone who has lost someone important to them? Well, this is a tough question. All right. <laughs> it's really tough. I've lost a brother. I've lost a grandmother. I've lost a closest aunt. I've lost my own mom. Lost my dad. I've even lost my wife. Mm. The only thing I can advise them is, just stay strong. You just have to move on. Live your day. Frankly, I've ever thought of just you know ending it right there and then. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't have the guts. But um, based on. My own experience. The only way for you to move on is you just hope something good will just come to you one day. Yeah, there's nothing much you can do actually. Just okay. If you want to be happy, the only way is look into the mirror. You will see that someone. What do you admire about me the most? <laughs> um, I mean, to be honest, uh, really, really, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, very strong. Very, very strong. I mean, I, even though I 
I, I honestly cannot feel how you feel. But just the thought of imagining um, um I, I mean I mean I I, I I I can understand because I mean to me um relationships are very important to a human life. I don't don't just mean PGR and so on, but relationships. I think other than air and water, hu- the another thing that human cannot live without is relationships and communities. And and I can totally understand um when not only you lost some one person that you love, but many. And one after another. But yet you're still strong. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I guess and I guess that's where it is also reflected in your generosity also. I think uh something I admire about you is that you're always generous to help. Yeah. So like you know <laughs> you help me with all the I mean just the very simple things not like going overseas all the uh, data plans and Uber and so on, I think. Generous. Because okay. you have lost much in your life. Yeah. I appreciate what you have. <laughs> wow, this art. Okay, 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 let's go. Indeed. Yeah, this uh, is literally for you. Why oh. did you sign up, sign us up for SG Narratives? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <coughs> okay, to be honest, um, it's a very crazy thing to do. Yeah. I always work by this heart. I mean, actually the main desire is that um, <coughs> I think in any relationship, I think we, if, if you treasure that relationship, you want to bring that relationship to a deeper level. And and sometimes <coughs> the, the relationship or the friendship will go deeper is when you are more and more vulnerable to each other. So, <laughs> I thought this edgy narrative is a, you know, it's a, it's a space where we are really vulnerable to each other. And not just here, but we also know that this thing will be pushed out into the, in the media. So, um, yeah, so I guess this vulnerable space uh, will give us a chance that to <coughs> share maybe what we use, usually don't share. Like, for example, some of these questions we don't really share. And I guess I hope that how fresh you will go in our level lah. and just for record purposes we have uh, discussed something like this before uh, when we meet yeah, yeah. alright right. um, okay so coming on the signing up for the participation form right so what do you think about your overall experience shooting with SG Narratives mm. <laughs> stress <huh? laughs> it's crazy it's crazy, it's, it's really not what I imagined it to be. And but but of course I, I, I really appreciate the space because uh, I, through this I I, mean, I really get to know my friend more. Yeah. So that, that's the objective I want. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you, Reggie. Wow.